wish happen. Don't y'all miss this couch? I don't. I've been trying to throw it out for a while, but I just don't feel like bringing it all the way down the stairs. So anyways, enough about the couch. Welcome to another Ricardo update. Shout outs to those of you guys who are on the Patreon who get updates vastly quicker than they make them to the camera. So if you're not on the Patreon, go on the Patreon. And if you're on the Patreon, make sure you're on the Discord. On the Discord is where the group chat is. Even though Patreon now has a chat feature that they should have introduced a long time ago, I do all my live updates on Discord as they happen. So if you are not aware because you don't care about me and you're not on the Patreon, apparently Ricardo genuinely does not respect his mother. This has been a reoccurring theme that I have been talking about on this channel for a while. And some of you guys have brought it up and I've been thinking about it. And I think I actually want to talk one-on-one -on -one with Ricardo about this because I'm beginning to think like it's a real serious thing. Like at first I just thought like maybe Ricardo is just like a disrespect respectful ass bitch and he just don't like nobody but I'm beginning to realize like Ricardo really just probably doesn't respect his mom and it's it, it might have to do with childhood trauma so recently I was at my parents house I'm chilling everybody's chilling like literally my mom's there my dad's there my aunt's there Ricardo's not there because it was the weekend and he pulls up with a bitch a brand new bitch introduces her to everyone and tries to act like a brand new family man y'all like child it was a mess okay so I gotta give a lot of preface to this so it could make sense Okay, so first things first, right? Ricardo's a grown ass man, okay? Ricardo's in his 40s, and of course, the mime has left him. They are getting a divorce if they're not already divorced. So, him getting a new girlfriend or having hoes or whatever is nothing new, considering the fact that he has been cheating on his wife since forever anyway. So, I mean, he can date whoever he wants to. That's not really a big deal. But in Haitian households, like bringing a girl home is definitely not something that is done, okay? Like, you know, in American, in Western culture, you know, a lot of people just bring people home. It's just customary and it's respectful to just let your family know who you are dealing with because, you know, safety reasons and stuff like that. In Haitian culture, none of that, okay? If you're not getting married to the person or you're not taking things seriously, you do not let your family know who you're going to be with. We don't really give a fuck, okay? If it's not seriously, don't bring them home. But Ricardo, he don't give a shit, okay? He brings the dogs, the cats, the buffalo. He bring everybody home. He don't care. So the thing is, he's always bringing hoes home. He's constantly bringing people home. Even when he was married, he would always bring his toys to the house. And it's something that my dad was always annoyed about. And he always like told my mom like, bro, all the men in your family a whores, including Ricardo. Like it's always been a topic of discussion and it's always been something like even after he got married, like my dad was like, how the fuck did he just get married and he's already bringing hoes here? So it's always been something that like my dad genuinely didn't like and we thought after he got married, he would stop. And we thought that since he was always crying, yes, crying over the mind that he would at least take some time to cry over her because every day he yelling in the house like, what, what, I'm way from when? He would just you know like take some time off and cry over her a little bit and then bring some hoes over but I mean to be honest that's kind of unrealistic if he was cheating on her before and he was bringing hoes over I don't know why anybody thought that he would stop but the thing is since his mom is here we thought that he wouldn't be out here bringing any girls to the house right so here's the thing the way the house is set up it is small and it's small because I purposely got a small apartment I purposely got a small apartment because my idea is that my parents are getting older they need to downsize because older people People don't make as much money especially as they tend to go into social security and I'm going to be getting married and having kids soon that is the plan and I'm not planning on going out of pocket for my parents any longer because I shouldn't have to okay my parents rely on me way too goddamn much especially with that grown ass me living in a fucking house not doing a goddamn thing I would have thought that especially after he got married he would have been out the fucking house and sadly he's not out the fucking house nonetheless I thought it would have been cute to get them a cute little day bed couch thing so whenever someone comes over i.e my aunt aka a Ricardo's mother, she could have like a nice little day bed situation so she can sleep on or sit on during the day, whatever it is. So, you know, she could be comfortable. Sage, what do you want to do? You coming or you going? Okay, Ritla. So I was, don't come back. So basically, I already explained the whole daybed situation to you guys. My mother said that it's not a good look to have her sleeping on the daybed because it's essentially like the living room hallway area. But the way the living room hallway situation is, it's directly next to Ricardo's room. And of course, like I also mentioned, Ricardo and everyone had this agreement that A, he would give the room up to his mom, but he had bed bugs and he got rid of his bed. He finally got a new bed or whatever the case may be. That's another update. So technically the mom should be sleeping in his room and Ricardo should be 
sleeping on the day bed. So he still hasn't given the room to his mother. But I, from what I understand, the mom, okay, my aunt does not want to be in the room anyway because she's afraid of the bed bugs that might be hiding in the room. But anyway, so essentially the way it's set up, it's like the bed is here, his room is here. So anything that's going on in the room, you can hear it. Okay, keep it, keep it in mind. So I'm chilling about a week or two ago, like two weeks ago. I'm chilling, I'm on my iPad, everybody's laughing, talking, having a conversation. Ricardo is never there on weekends, okay? It's to the point where if I call Ricardo on a weekend, like say if I went to the supermarket with my mom and I need help with groceries and it'd be like literally like 200 to 300 dollars worth of groceries, it's very heavy. Like literally I have to break my back to bring these shits up two to three flights of stairs by myself because nobody else is there to help me. Like it's really fucking annoying. Like Ricardo will never be there. He's always in Brooklyn with his bitch back in the day where he's out partying. He's in Miami. Like this nigga don't ever be there y'all. Like he's never there. He is never there on weekends. Like it's something that's common knowledge. Ricardo don't ever be there on weekends. He literally be out from like Thursday night and he don't come back till like Monday afternoon after work. Okay. So imagine my surprise. Everybody's chilling. I'm chilling, sitting down on my iPad. We hear the door open. I look, I'm like, okay, I see Ricardo. So it's like when you walk in the door, it's like this long ass hallway. So I look, I see Ricardo and I see a bitch. And I'm like, so the way I'm sitting in this chair, I'm the first one that sees him. The kitchen is like far over there. My aunt is like next to me, but like she didn't like peep yet. So I see it and I just start laughing. I'm just like, go right back on what I've had. Lady comes in, she's like, bonsoir. And we're just like, my dad ain't say shit. My dad just looked at her like, my mom turns on the Pisces chart. Swear to God, Pisces get on my nerves. They just so goddamn fake. My y'all, I've said this numerous times and I'm not joking and I'm not over exaggerating. My mother does not fuck with Ricardo, okay? My mother doesn't even say hi to Ricardo. My mother and Ricardo do not speak. They're not on speaking terms. They're not even on pleasantry terms. There is no hello, there's no goodbye, there's no how are you between my mother and Ricardo, okay? Oh, come on, yeah. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> this is me. I'm like, hello. I was like, I ain't giving you my Creole. You know that whole term of Haitians speak Creole to the ones they love, it, French to impress, and English to survive? Yeah, that that's that's the rule that applies to this. Bitch, I don't fucking know you, so. Hello. Um, <laughs> like, you know, I kind of hate when people say that because, bitch, I'm Haitian. I speak Creole to everybody. Um, but in this case, bitch, hello. I want you to think I don't speak any Creole and I was born here so you could talk your shit and I could know what the fuck you're talking. So I'm just like, I'm not gonna be mean to you for no reason. In, but I want you to think that I don't understand what you're saying, you know? Wait, papa le Creole. So my mom's like, oh, oh, Vinchita, Vinchita goes, pulls up a chair, got her and Ricardo exchanging pleasantries. Now listen, I didn't expect my mom to be mean to the girl. I didn't expect my mom to like be rude, but it's just like my mother hates Ricardo to the point where my dad be literally coming at my mother's neck anytime she talks shit about Ricardo. Mind you, my dad was so mad at Ricardo for dyeing his hair with his toothbrush, which I still don't understand how my dad could even fuck with Ricardo after that. But my dad be literally sitting there defending Ricardo all the goddamn time, getting mad at my mom. They be having full blown arguments about how my mom be coming at Ricardo's neck. So I'm trying to understand how now they're exchanging pleasantries, trying to act like they're one big happy family. Then Ricardo goes in his room, he gonna change it to his house slippers. And I just look at Ricardo like, okay. I was like, oh, Ricardo, keep me rock. I was like, oh, what a miracle, you're home. He's like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean? You're never here on weekends. He was like, oh, I'm always here. I said, Ricardo, I come here every weekend specifically to tend to your mother's medication because for whatever reason, no one knows how to do anything in this house, including separate medication into a medication pill organizer. So don't sit here and tell me that you're here every weekend. He tries to laugh off. Like he tries to laugh over what I'm saying, trying to like stop the girl from hearing what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, okay. So I'll go back to what I'm doing. I'm like, nigga, like trying to act like, oh, he a family man and shit. So now he's trying to have conversations like, oh, mama, oh, okay. Like, oh, mom, you good? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And trying to talk to my mom like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, the fuck is this? I'm like, am I in a twilight zone? So now the lady, she sits there, she's having a full blown conversation with us. And I'm not gonna lie, she's cool. But I, I could not stop looking at her outfit, y'all. And I'm not even gonna be petty and post her photo on the screen because it would be way too fucked up. Next thing you know, that's somebody on this fucking channel. Um, She was looking like a, 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 
a surviving midlife crisis, okay? She looked like she was from the 80s, okay? She was giving, I'm 48, dressed like I'm 21, and I don't know what I've done because I have no friends to take me out of this crisis, and I had nobody to tell me not to dress like this on this fake ass date. It was also giving, I didn't want to come here. I was told that this was a date. I was told he had his own place, but apparently he lived with his aunt. Swear to God, he kept trying to get her to go into his room, and she was like, oh, the whole time and I was just like <laughs> the whole time because I'm just like y'all I was just observing meanwhile my whole dad the whole time is just like my aunt is having conversations with the lady my mom's having conversations with the lady I'm just chuckling I'm looking at Ricardo trying to get this girl to come into his room mind y'all the only thing that separates us and Ricardo's room is a wall and it's not a thick wall um, and a door obviously and he's just sitting like right behind her so it's like the chair the door Ricardo and then the day bed situation is like right here and then I'm sitting right in front of her so it's just like this is so hilarious like it just was not looking good I'm just like hmm let me add some spice to the shit I don't give a fuck I'm messy I'm a messy bitch and I have no problem with that okay so I'm like so Ricardo what are you doing next weekend he's like why I said I mean you're never here so you know I have to like ask you what you're doing you know to make sure that you're available he's like I don't know why you keep saying that like I'm always around so you know so I took your mom out you know a few weekends ago and she hasn't been out ever since since you're allegedly not doing anything when are you gonna take your mom out to do something you know you haven't done anything with her since she's gotten here was it messy yes did I mean it yes that nigga bad bad bro that nigga he ain't has shit to say bro he was like I thought you're free on weekends when are you available to take your mother out Take her for some ice cream, take her to the library, take her to see the sky, bitch. When are you available? It, um, uh, my, my, uh, not Polly, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk. Now the girl looking like, yeah, that's the type of nigga you chose to come on a date with and meet his family with. I don't think she had that planned. I, I really genuinely don't think that that was what she signed up for, but bitch, hi. I mean, I will say this one's prettier. This one talks, okay? She's not a mime. She has decent conversation. She would be a very pretty lady if she just fucking dressed like she was from the century, okay? If she didn't dress like a midlife crisis, she wore clothes that fit, like it would have been a perfect, you know, matrimony. I mean, I hope she knows about the ex-wife and that he beat the shit out of her and that he's probably close to losing his green card, but hey, that's not my place. I just wanted to be petty little bitch. After that shit, I done left. And I, I really thought that, you know, okay, maybe that's his new girlfriend. I mean, she met us, but I mean, maybe that was just a formality. Uh, maybe that was just to like be respectful. I I, I don't really even know because after that I had called my mom you're know, like oh you know what happened after I left like because I was not about to stick around for that shit y'all I was like mm, I ain't got time for this I can't be even more messier I was gonna be like oh so uh have you heard from mine I, I was gonna do that but I was like eh Jesus said no so I left um so I called my mom a couple days after I was like oh so what happened after I left what happened with the um the girl uh uh my mom was like first of all you need to talk to Ricardo because I'm done I'm done with Ricardo I was like, what are you talking about, you daughter Ricardo? What happened, Ricardo? Like, what, what, what happened? I don't feel safe anymore. Ricardo's just sitting here bringing whoever he wants in this house, and it's ridiculous. Every day I come here, it's a new person. It's a new bitch. It's a new this. It's a new that. It's one thing to bring the mime here. That was his wife. But even when he had a wife, he kept bringing different women here. But ever since him and the mime's broken up, it's different women here all the time. It doesn't make sense. I, I don't feel safe. All of these strangers here all the time. Ever since he brought that girl here, there's been at least four different girls here. The other day he brought this girl here and I don't even know what happened. I was asleep. The girl could have killed me in my sleep. She could have stole stuff from my home. Just so fucking dramatic. Like, I understand it's a real concern. I understand it's a genuine fear, but I could not stop laughing. I could not because I'm like, wait, you're telling me right now that you're afraid? Like, you're, you're real, you're genuine, you're in genuine fear? Like, and this is why I laugh because it was just like, bro, if I literally go down the rabbit hole, all the shit that Ricardo's done, y'all will be like, this is what you're afraid of, the whores that he brings over. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I kid y'all not. I remember Ricardo bringing all of these fucking ugly ass thug ass niggas over. And her logic is, oh, well, they're related to us. They're family. We know them from Haiti. But I'm like, um, they're still thugs. They're not family to me. I don't fucking know them. And to be family, these niggas was hitting on me. So I'm confused. What type of family y'all got that's hitting on me? What the fuck is this? And then on top of that, this nigga had hits out on him because he was out here punching niggas in the face and taking niggas bitches and they wanted to kill his ass and if it wasn't for the fact that people know y'all as good people and people know my street cred he would have died by now so i'm trying to under 
understand. You're afraid now because of the hoes? I mean, I'm trying to understand. Like, beach me. <laughs> beach me. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, yeah, girls can be volatile. They can't kill you. Yeah, like, especially up in Jersey. Yeah, we fight niggas too. But I'm just like, I don't know, bro. Like, uh, all the things that Ricardo done did, like, I'm telling you, like, people really wanted to take Ricardo's life. Shit, they're still trying to, like, literally beat his ass and take his life for real. It's just not as bad as or, or as imminent as a threat. But you're scared because he brings hoes to the house. I was like, girl, you just want to kick him out. And I ain't going to kick him out now because when I really want to kick him out, you said no. When we were moving to this apartment from the other apartment, I said, please let me tell him that he's not coming. You said no. So at this point, you're going to kick him out. I don't care anymore. I'm going to live la vida loca and make these videos and collect my coin. Because fuck that nigga and fuck all y'all that keep saving his bitch ass. Okay, this is literally sexism. Haitians are sexist. Okay, they let boys run amok. They let boys do whatever the fuck it is that they can do until they have it okay till they're done till they're tired till they're at their ends ropes and they still keep them so i'm just like no live with it because i don't care i don't give a shit that this shit is hilarious to me this shit is absolutely hilarious i'm just like you're fucking kidding me right like i swear to god i sat there and i was like you're joking right like, i literally looked at my mom like you're fucking joking right take several seats you had ample opportunity to kick him out now you can't so that's not my problem with that being said comment down below what do you guys think because i get it um it is kind of ridiculous how he just be having all these strangers in the house um like especially like there was that one time where he had a girl just in the house like while he went to work i think that was the mine to be honest who knows he always has different girls uh and i remember because i i came home to bring my dad to a doctor's appointment and we didn't even know the girl was in the house and like that shit was terrifying because like we heard somebody and we were like what the fuck who are you like he do be doing goofy shit like that but again y'all want to keep him in the house so i ain't gonna say shit to none of y'all motherfuckers okay so that's y'all problem to deal with not mine with that being said like share subscribe do all that of course sign up for the patreon or whatever can't wait to see y'all in the next video and of course make sure you guys subscribe to my other two channels my haitian channel deals with haitian voodoo politics and folklore and my main channel has a black social commentary so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and uh yeah i think that's it i feel like i was supposed to tell you guys something else but i don't remember check the description box for everything that i always talk about bye